Hey everybody, I've had the paratrooper for a few days now. The most I've really done with it is chase my kids around the house uh, while wearing it. And it has been pretty comfortable in that aspect, so I can at least encourage you on that front. Um, but let's take a look, little bit, of, a little bit of a look at the storage capacity, uh, the different pockets, etc., the features of the bag, so you can have a good feeling of how it's going, or what it looks like. In the front, you have this pocket. I've actually fit a bite in here, but it restricts the access to the main storage compartment, so I decided to take it out. Instead, I just have a couple minis. Uh, you can fit quite a bit in there, actually, so you can put scorecards and all that good stuff in there if you want to. On each side, you're going to have a drink holder that will hold a Nalgene, or a Hydro Flask, or a Gatorade bottle if you want. On each side also has a large pocket. Now, this isn't going to fit like a, a hooded sweatshirt, but it should be able to fit a rain jacket or something smaller that's more compactable. It does have a nice uh, elastic pocket for keys, wallet, etc and decent storage for other options like I have my 1994 World Cup bag with my markers in it, inhaler, I've got a charged uh, battery bank for my cell phone. Each side also has these ring slots uh, so you can get like a D-ring in there to hold stuff. I've got a full-size carabiner, definitely overkill for a whale sack but it was what I had available. On the other side is exactly the same. You're gonna have the same option. On this side, double zipper both times. I've got towels, I've got whale, extra whale sacks, etc. So, good capacity on both sides, lots of storage options. Like I said, probably not space for a hoodie in either one of those, but decent storage for everything else you're going to want to carry. Main compartment, I've got five mids, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fairways and four distance drivers, so good capacity there. And it's actually not as full as I had it previously. I took a couple out just to give me a little more space so I could access the sides better. And they do pull pretty well. Um, it's not too difficult to get the discs out of the edges. So good main compartment or main or storage in the main co or compartment. Can't talk, sorry. Got the single putter holder or single disc holder on the front. Obviously this is the zip shut portion. It folds back. I've got my brother's escape in there. I've been playing with different things I want to put in there. I throw that escape a lot, so I figure it's a good option. Uh, if you've held a trooper or used a trooper, you know about the top pocket. I've got a towel in here. I've got a suspect, a bite, and two throwing putters, and they fit with ease. There's actually more space in there that I could easily use. Again, that zip shut, um, but those fit really nicely. They're easy to get in and out, no problem. And then, of course, the top pocket for the putters. Again, could probably fit more than two in there, but two seems to be, I mean, I carry two putters, so that works for me. So good capacity, uh, construction, durability seems on par with the more recent troopers uh, and commanders, etc. As always, if something comes up as I'm using a bag, I'll definitely put an update out and let you guys know. But so far, this bag, as I'm chasing my kids around, has been fine. And I'm going to put it out on the course today. So we'll do like the tip test on the side of the hill and that kind of thing. A couple shots of it, me carrying it, etc. Now, I'm 5'7", so this fits my body well. The straps, uh, the padding on the back is good for breathability chasing kids uh, and the straps are well padded so it's been a good fit for my shoulders again for my size this fits well it's very adjustable if you're a very different body size than me you're definitely going to want to test it first that's just a normal thing with bags but carry handle yeah so there's quite a few features on this bag like i said lots of storage options i've went through a lot of iterations of where i want different discs what i wanted here what i wanted here etc and just kind of settled on this for the moment but i might change it who knows We'll see. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below so I can get back to you. Otherwise, I'm going to go do some, a little bit of footage on the course with it and uh, hope this review helps. Bye. All right, so pretty decent hill. I never recommend putting your bag this way on a hill. Yeah, it's going to tip. But sideways, bag's pretty stable as long as you don't really, really push on it. Should hold well on a hill. Shouldn't be an issue. Just be smart. Don't ever... There, I don't know if there are any bags in the market that are designed to stay if you tip them this way. Probably a few, but as long as you're going against the grain, you should be fine. One of the things I forgot to mention, the rails on the bottom to protect the bottom of the bag. I do enjoy those. So, time to get started. <laughs> Pretty simple to get discs in and out. I haven't had any trouble yet. As long as you don't overcrowd the bottom pack, it seems to be just fine.
All right, to this point, I've done quite a bit of just one carry shoulder. Uh, it seems to be going pretty well. As you can see, this top pocket, nice and easy to use. So, a little test. That was the Raider from the farthest left. Um, so that's gonna be one of those questions of like how easy the discs come out. You just saw no issues there. So we give it a throw. I'm gonna take out this one and give it a throw. One of my favorite discs, because it was my brother's. I'm not sure why I throw distance drivers anymore. All right, everybody, I finished the round actually a couple days ago. I'm just wrapping up the video now with my final thoughts. The bag feels good on the back. Like I said, it's a heavier bag, similar to a commander style as, a, as opposed to like the trooper, which is super lightweight. But at the price point of, I believe, $99.99, this is a great deal. Ton of disc capacity. And the one thing that I had talked about is like these smaller side pockets weren't gonna be able to fit a full size hoodie. And I wondered like, oh, maybe there is a solution to this. And that top pocket where I had my putters, my throwing putters, this is, it's not a full heavyweight hoodie, but that is my Team Hazy Shade hoodie. Uh, and it fits in there, no problem. As you can see, it stuffs in nicely. Can zip it up, boom, all taken care of. So if you're worried about the capacity of needing to carry a rain jacket, I think they'll fit in the side pockets just fine. And that heavier hoodie up top, no problem. This, this bag really can carry quite a bit. You'll just have to shuffle around your discs a little bit. So, hope you enjoyed. As always, put the questions below so I can get back to you. Otherwise, I think the Paratrooper is definitely a good value at this price point. And if something comes up with the bag, I will do an update. Thanks!